So what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team SamX1 here coming to you guys with a Yang Zing deck profile for the November 2015 ban list. So hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. And guys, as I progress through the deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys all my card choices and the reasons why I play them. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into uh, this Yang Zing deck profile. Guys, by the way, Yang Zing uh, has been one of my favorite decks so far. Uh, Yang Zing is one of the greatest decks to play for fun. Uh, I love to play Yang Zings. Uh, this deck is absolutely amazing. Be able to just go backseat on first turn, backseat on your opponent's turn, interrupt their combo plays is very, very funny. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm an asshole for saying that. But you know what? It's 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 really crucial. Uh, be able to just backseat on your opponent's turn, bouncing back cards. It's 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 absolutely amazing. And, of course, uh, going Yazzy and, you know, being Yazzy uh, can be targeted. And, of course, if it's uh, brought out to you by Bixie. So if Yazzy is brought out by Bixie and Swanee. Uh, that means that it's it's unaffected by traps, and of course it gains 500 attack. So it's unaffected by traps. It's cannot be targeted, and of course it gains 500 attack. So that's pretty crazy. And Chao Fang is literally a walking mess. Uh, so you know what, Chao Chao Fang basically says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so this deck is just very very fun overall. Uh, but you know what, it's 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 a really fun deck. You know the whole deck and uh, the whole the entire deck floats, so you can get easier access to Jiao Two as fast as possible. And Jiao Two is literally the best Yang Zing monster in the deck. So as long as you open up Jiao Two or some way to get out Jiao Two, uh, more than likely you're just gonna win the game. Uh, so Jiao Two is really really uh, really really amazing. Uh, this is a, re a really really fun deck, uh, it, and it's also very competitive as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. So without further ado, let's get started with this uh, Yang Zing deck profile. After the monster, guys, I play, of course, triple uh, Jiao Tu. Uh, absolutely amazing. Jiao Tu is very, very good. Basically, you can send two Yang Zing cards from your hand to the graveyard. The special summon one Yang Zing with zero attack and one Yang Zing with zero defense from your deck. Uh, so that way, it gives you access uh, to your first turn synchro plays. So it's absolutely amazing. So uh, triple Jiao Tu, uh, really, really good. Next up, uh, he basically speeds out the deck. Uh, without Jiao Tu, the deck would suck. Literally, the deck would suck without Jiao Tu. Uh, so triple Jiao Tu, the best uh, Yang Zing in the deck, in my personal opinion. Next, of course, you play the triple light guy, uh, triple Chi Yuan. Uh, Chi Yuan is absolutely amazing as well. So basically, uh, the whole entire Yang Zing floats, by the way. So his effect is that when a Yang Zing monster you control is destroyed by battle, and uh, is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can activate his effect in the grave to special summon him, uh, uh, special summon him uh, on the field. But when he leaves the field, he's banished. Uh, so Chi Yuan is really, really good. Uh, so triple Chu in. Next you play, of course, triple Swanee. Uh, Swanee is uh, great as well. So basically what he does is that when he's used as a synchro material, uh, the monster that is uh, brought out to you uh, with this as a synchro material gains 500 attack boost. So Swanee uh, basically makes all your ex uh, all your synchro monsters really, really big. Uh, so Swanee is amazing. So if it, they both gain 500 attack and defense. So that's what's really good about Swanee. Next, uh, pers uh, personally, uh, the best uh, Yang Zing monster. Uh, well, like the best Yang Zing monster to use as a single material is Bixie, in my personal opinion. Basically, uh, any single summon, uh, um, any single monster brought out to you by Bixie uh, is 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 unaffected by traps. So Bixie basically makes your monsters trap immune. Uh, so Bixie is absolutely amazing for that. And of course, uh, triple uh, Bion or Beyond. Uh, this card makes your monster uh, uh, can be destroyed by battle. So of course, uh, battle immune. Uh, Trap Immune and of course uh, gains 500 attack and defense so it's attack booster Trap Immune and of course uh, your single monster cannot be destroyed by battle so uh, Bion is really good for that and of course you play the one Pulau Pulau is, uh, isn't as great as all these guys uh, but of course uh, when the single monster is brought to you by of course Pulau as a single material uh, the monster cannot be of Affected by spawn trap card effects, so no by spawn by spawn card effects. I mean, uh, so Pulau is very very good. And la last but not least, you play of course one Totai, uh, one Zavraxi, and last but not least, one uh, Zavranu, uh, Secret of the Yang Zing. Uh, I felt like you know what? Uh, sometimes I was debating whether or not to play double copies of this card or not. But I felt like you know what? Sometimes when you draw this card, it's the worst feeling ever. Uh, these two cards are the worst cards to draw, and uh, you always want to bring these cards out with. Um, with uh, Jiao Tu, uh, or uh, or make these cards float off another Yang Zing monster. So uh, these two cards are really really good. Only if they're spe special summon from the deck, and of course if you draw them, it it, it sucks. It's the worst feeling ever. Uh, this card late game, if you top deck this card, is literally a dead draw. 
and you can't really do um, anything with this card, so it sucks. Uh, so that's pretty much it for a Yang Zing aspect of the deck. Uh, really, really good. Uh, Totai, uh, you, you play one Totai, it's a 2200 beater, and, and of course, it's a level 5, uh, helping you uh, get into a quick reaction into your bigger synchros and things like that. So uh, it's really, really good. And a really good thing about uh, Swanee, Bixie, and of course, Bayan is that... Uh, you can synchro on your opponent's uh, main phase uh, or battle phase. So basically, let's say that you have Zhao Tu, Bixi, and Suwani on board. Okay, so this is the the standard play that Yang Zing players always make, and it's a, re a really really good play. So basically, uh, your opponent, let's say you're you're playing against Te Teller Knights, and your uh, your opponent has three monsters on board. So of course. Uh, Altair, Vega, and of course the Denub. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that you're, you're gonna activate Swanee's effect before uh, they overlay into a Triver. You're gonna activate Swanee's effect uh, to Synchro Summon and then uh, ask your opponent for response. So let's say that they have a Phoenix Chain, they'll Phoenix Chain into a uh, Swanee, and then on the Phoenix Chain, you'll chain Bixie's effect. Bixie will activate its effect to Synchro Summon, then that, then that, then that way. You, you can just automatically Synchro Summon. Uh, they, they wasted their Continuous Trap, and then you bring out a uh, a back uh, a Baxia that is trap immune against 500 defense, so which is uh 3100 defense, and uh, it can bounce back three cards your opponent controls. So uh this that, that's one of the craziest plays that you, that you can do with uh with Yang Zings, and it's very very self-explanatory. And I'll show you guys of course the Herald of the Arc Light uh, combo that you guys can do with the monster lineup. It's it's very very standard. Uh, all you need is basically uh Joe Tao. Uh, a buy-in in your hand or any other Yang Zing monsters. For this problem, you, uh, I'm just going to use a Swanee. Uh, so the only thing you need is literally a buy-in and a Jotao in your hand. Uh, that's pretty much it. Or some way to get buy-in uh, in the graveyard. So as long as you have buy-in in your graveyard or buy-in in your hand, you, you can uh, bring out this, uh, basically, a Baxia and, of course, a Herald the Arc-like first turn. Uh, so this is what I usually do when I don't know what I'm playing against. And it's just a very standard combo. So this is for, for people that don't know how to play Yang Zings or this is your first time looking at this deck. I'll show you guys what this deck uh, can, can do. So you summon Jotao, activate Jotao's effect, uh, ditch these two, special summon two from the deck. You, you have to summon him, summon him, and you want to summon, let's say, a Bixie. It doesn't really matter what you summon. So at this point, you're going to single summon Jotao into Baxia. Where's our Baxia? Yeah, into my Baxia. Awesome, and now you're gonna activate Baxia's effect. Pop Bixie, special summon bind from the graveyard. And of course, uh, Bixie will, uh, will get its effect. Since it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you get special summon a Yang Zing monster from your deck. And the Yang Zing monster you wanna summon is of course a Shu Wen. At this point, Shu Wen will synchro summon with Bayan to the graveyard. The summon, of course, Herald the Arc Light. Basically, if you guys don't know what Arc Light's effect is, that basically, uh, when it's it's a solemn judgment. Uh, so if your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect, you can uh, tribute this card, uh, uh, lead the activation, and destroy it. And then, of course, every single turn, you can always revive back uh, the Herald the Arc Light with Baxia's effect. Uh, pop your own Yang Zing, revive this back. So basically, you have a free solemn judgment every turn. And the reason why you want to use Bayan and Bayan to bring out Arc Light is that uh, so that it can be destroyed by battle. Uh, so that's pretty pretty good, and it's also like a very standard combo play that you guys can do. That's just like the like the the very basics of the deck. Uh, so that's pretty much it for our monsters. And last but not least, you play the one effect wheeler. Uh, the one lone effect wheeler is very very good in the deck, is because uh, one uh, it's searchable off Chao Fang, and of course uh, if you draw, you're able to just negate effects. So effect wheeler is absolutely amazing. And the only thing that this deck loses to is monster effects, uh, uh, such cards as, as Abyss Dweller and things like that, just basically wreck this deck. Uh, so effect wheeler is very very crucial and of course uh, this deck uh, you, usually you loses hard to necros but now necros won't be in the picture anymore so I was going to use an example where ne uh, effect wheeler can just uh, wheeler the trish but you know what trish won't even be a problem anymore since necros uh, isn't even going to be that playable since uh, Bryonac and Brio and Shrit are now uh, Shrit is banned and of course Brio and Unicorn is hit to one so yeah now after the spell is really quick, you play one Soul Charge, one Mind Control, uh, Triple Yang Zing Path, and last but not least, Double Dark Hole. Uh, Dark Hole is very, very good in this deck since it's able to help you get into your Zhou Tao very, very fast. Since let's say that you open up with three Yang Zing monsters and you really need a Zhou Tao to your hand. So yeah, let's say you open, open up with three Yang Zing monsters first turn. Okay, uh, so what you want to do, and if you have Dark Hole, let's say you, you open up this hand and let's say two other traps. You want to summon uh, a Yang Zing card, Dark Hole, 
bring out the Jiao Tu and of course do, do the Jiao Tu combos and things like that. So uh, Dark Hole basically gets you uh, you gets gets you access into your uh, uh, Jiao Tu as fast as possible. So Dark Hole is very very good for that. So that's pretty much it for our monsters. And the reason being for uh, me playing mind control is that you're able to just rob your opponent's monster and uh, and go into big single plays with mind control. That's why um, I like a. Uh, that's why I love about mind control, especially playing this deck. So this deck is just a uh, pure synchro based deck. Rob their monster, synchro summon. Uh, that monster you bring out is is gonna be unaffected by stuff. So uh, mind control is just very very good. Now off to our trap lineup, you play of course uh, triple Yang's in creation. Yang's in creation is absolutely amazing. His effect is actually the nuts. Uh, if you guys don't know, don't know is that is that once per turn, if a monsters you control is destroyed by battle or a card effect, so it, it it doesn't have to be sent to the graveyard. So as long as they're destroyed by battle or by card effect, uh, you get a special summon a uh, Yang's in monster from the deck. So that's what's really really good about Yang's in creation. So basically, uh, if you're playing against heroes and Dark Law destroys your monster, it doesn't matter if if if, if your monster gets banished or not. You you'll still definitely get the special summon of uh, Yang's in creation uh, since the monster was destroyed. And of course, guys, uh, last week in my tournament, uh, I went first place with this deck at my locals. And uh, what happened is that I was playing against mass heroes uh, during the finals. And, and I opened up one Yang's in monster and triple Yang's in creation. Uh, so it's pretty much the nuts. So what happened was that uh, he destroyed one of my monsters. Uh, so when he declared battle, I just activated triple yang's in creation and i just brought back joe i, I brought out joe tao swanee and big c and then it was since it was still his battle phase i synchro summon into Baxia, bounce back his dark law and things like that so it was actually the nuts uh that's why yang's in creation is really really good uh since uh the monster doesn't need to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard so yang's in creation is absolutely amazing a triple creation and of course you play a double breakthrough skill and of course double feed shane the reason being why i play a lot of uh Effect negation as it before is because uh, the only thing that this deck loses to is uh, monster effects that uh, deals anything that has to do with the graveyard. Um, yeah, no, no, basically it has to do with anything that stops monster from floating, such as Abyss Dweller and things like that. So uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Chain and Breaking Skill is really, really good. And Phoenix Chain, uh, as I said before, is my favorite trap card. And Phoenix Chain basically stops... Uh, your opponent monsters from activating their effects and of course uh, it, uh, it makes your opponent monster not attack so Phoenix Chain is really really good next you play uh, Double Call of the Haunted I felt like uh, playing Double Call of, ha Call of the Haunted is very very good in, in this deck since you're able to just do crazy combo plays with uh, uh, what's it called Baxia and of course Call of the Haunted so let's say you Call of the Haunted bring back a, a monster Baxia effect pop the monster uh, you get two summons and things like that so it's really really good and next turn you can pop your own call of the haunted to just special summon a monster from the grave so call of the haunted is really really good and of course it it it, it adds more uh more synergy into the deck and it just adds more pressure onto the combo play that you're about to do so call of the haunted is absolutely amazing next play of course the one else one trend tribute one skill drain one of these emptiness and last but not least one solid warning and of course uh skill drain does not do anything to this deck since if you bring out the monster with bixie uh it's unaffected by trap effects so you you can still use your monster effects while skill drain is on board if uh the synchro summon uh monster is brought out to you by uh bixie so that's pretty much it for our trap trap lineup and this is a 21 uh no a 40 card main deck. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. Now off to our side deck. Side deck, guys, is always personal preference. If you guys want to uh, definitely change your own side deck, you guys could. But this is just an overview on what I have for the side deck for this Yang Zing deck. So, of course, you play Double Flying C uh, for the, what is it called? The, uh, what is it? What's the deck? Side frames. Uh, you know, you Flying C, the, the, the side frames, is, uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, basically, they can't activate their monster effects. So, as long as this card is remain face up on the field, and they can't get, uh, get, get rid of Frank, uh, Flying C, uh, it's pretty good. So double Flying C, double Max C, one Fairy Wind, double Wiretap, uh, double Debunk for the Cypher matchup, and of course uh, the Mirror match as well, uh, Burning Abyss, uh, Mermails, anything that re re relies on the Graveyard or the Hand, Debunk got you. So uh, Debunk is really good. Double Shadow Prison Mirror. I don't know if uh, Burning Abyss is still going to be prevalent, uh, but Shadow Prison is really, really good. And next you play uh, Pure Iron Wall, and last but not least, double Lose One Turn. The reason being why I, I, I do not like playing Lose One Turn is that it has a hard activation condition. Uh, its activation condition that is that you must control no special summon monsters. Uh, so Lose One Turn is, uh, that's you know, the activation condition is really, really rough. And most of the time, I'm always going to have a special summon monster. Uh, but you know what? If I just have a set card uh, on board first turn, and I, and I decide, I just side this game two and three. I can activate it right away. But the thing is that sometimes um, 
I feel like I could play way better cards and lose one turn uh, in the main deck. But the only thing that I might change is, of course, uh, maybe adding one lose a lose one turn into the main deck. But other than that, I feel like you know what, uh, two two in a side deck is really good uh, as it is. Uh, it's not necessary to main uh, to main to main lose a turn in this deck, in my personal opinion. But if you guys want to go ahead and just play lose one turn in, uh, uh, in your deck, you, you guys can go ahead and play it. You guys can take it out, uh, take out Phoenix Shane for lose one turn. But I feel like uh, Phoenix Shane is definitely way better than lose one turn, it's because lose one turn hurts you a little bit. Since sometimes you want to go off with that Jiao too, you want you want to go off with Baxi and things like that, and you can't because lose one turn is stopping you. And sometimes you can't even activate this since you control a special summon monster. So uh, it literally sucks uh, if you're in that situation. So that's pretty much it for our side deck. No MSC in the side deck is because um, you have wiretap and things like that, and and you're not scared of back row anyways since uh, you know Big C makes you trap immune. So that's what's pretty pretty good about Big C. Now off to our synchros. Let me just organize this for a sec. After our singles go up with the lowest, you play of course one hero with the arc light. Uh, if I had if I had double uh, double copies of arc light, I would definitely play uh, arc, two arc lights. But I only have one right now, so one arc light, one Armadis, one Girl Guardian, one the Thung. The Thung is literally the cowboy of the deck. Uh, you bring on the Thung, burn eight hundred damage to the face. One Clear Wing, one Moonlight Dragon, uh, one Black Rose Dragon, one Stardust Dragon. Uh, I only play Stardust since it's it's an ulti, and it looks cool. My it's cool. It looks cool. Black Rose. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, Stardust Dragon is really really good. But if you guys have a side frame Lord Omega, you guys can definitely play it. Uh, one Stardust Spark Dragon. Stardust Star Spark Dragon with of course the Vanny's emptiness is uh, the nuts. Uh, you play the one Yazzie, double uh, Baxia, one Chao Fang, uh, the card that basically says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. And last but not least, uh, one Trishula to round off our synchro lineup. And of course, I am missing a Star Eater. Uh, so if you guys want to take out the Stardust Dragon for a Star Eater, you guys could. And last but not least, uh, I, I do play one XYZ. Is of course, one Felgran, uh, Divine Dragon Felgran to round off our uh, extra deck lineup. And I could read the, the, the reason being why you don't play more than one copy of uh, XYZ, XYZ is, is because you play Creation. And Creation has the effect where you can't uh, use cards from the extra deck uh, un unless you're synchro summoning. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for, watch uh, for watching this video. Uh, Hopefully this, this video wasn't too long. And for those of you who actually stayed 17 minutes in, uh, of your life and listened to me talk, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, that would mean a lot to me, guys. And this is Sam from Team Shadows and Sam signing out. Peace. Don't forget to comment. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I encourage you guys to always comment on my videos. Let me know uh, if this deck profile worked out for you. Let me know if uh, I need to change uh, some of the cards uh, in this deck or not so uh this is just my uh personal deck profile uh just let me know what you guys think and of course this is sam from team sam and sam signing out peace out guys and enjoy the new bandlist